What's up guys, welcome back to another Gwent video and today's focus is going to be on a on the SK cards that were revealed, uh, released with this update. So in this deck, which is called the Cult of Melusine, I am running all the four new cards. Melusine, um, Offering to the Sea, half Singer, and Hermit. Uh, and this deck isn't just me slapping cards together, this is uh, a deck that I've kind of played around with um, and has a lot of really cool synergies. First of all, I'm running Portal because Hermit and Bear Witcher Adepts are phenomenal targets for Portal, right? Both land on sevens, and both of them synergize extremely well with half Roost Singers, and Hermits also synergize really well with uh, Swalwell Priest, and of course, uh, Melusine herself, because they're cultists, and they heal and damage, all the shenanigans. Uh, the goal of this deck is to try to get a really big Melusine in round one, and then replay her in round two with Sigrifus Right, and then round three, replay Sigrifus Right with Breath of the Sea and full leader charge to replay Melusine one more time. Uh, potentially getting a 24, 25 strength Melusine, which feels pretty good though. Now, honestly, this deck just it dies to a heat wave. If if Melusine gets heat waved, it sucks. But you still have some win cons. We are running. I'm running Wildboard the Sea with Dagger Two Blades in a long round against a very wide deck like Scoia'tael or Monsters. This can be very powerful. I'm also running Offering to the Sea, which is I think a phenomenal card that Skellige got. Honestly, one of my favorite cards from this expansion. I love the card. The art is fantastic, first of all. The story is phenomenal, and the effect is really good. It's essentially Wildboard. It's it's basically a um, Fork Tail, but you don't lose points here. You're typically gaining points, right? I mean, with Folktale, also you don't really lose points, but you know what I mean, right? All the damage that you take is uh, boosted onto the de Deafening Siren that spawns. And this synergizes really well with Dagger Two Blades as well. Um, Half for Singer is also another phenomenal card from this expansion. It is such a powerful card. On deploy, playing for potentially 8 on deploy, and then being a 2 point engine uh, if you have... Bear Witcher Adepts on the board or Hermits on the board. So prefer you actually don't mind playing a naked Bear Witcher because this thing is going to heal itself at the end of every turn, which means it procs half Roof Singer's uh, effect, which means it's going to spawn a Deafening Siren every turn. Very, very powerful card. I'm running one Bear Witcher Mentor and also I'm running Hurricane Duke. This card is fantastic with, of course, Offering to the Sea and Wild Borough of the Sea. Get a bunch of damage of more units on the opposite side. And... When you have Adrenaline 3 or less, this thing plays for some potentially plays for some insane points. Now, I'm not running 2 because I found 2 to be inconsistent. You don't really want to play 2 of these unless it's a really hardcore Witcher deck as well. Uh, but that's why Heron Kuduk is also so flexible. We can play a Bear Witcher Mentor. We can also play a Bear Witcher. Another Adept if you have a Mellow Sign or a Cultist on the board. And Quartermaster is a very nice proactive play as well. Uh, I'm also running the newly buffed Delirium. Delirium got buffed to 5 provisions and it's actually really good now. Uh, You'll see in the games uh, how it gets some decent value. Uh, a six for five. Yes, it's not. It's random, but it's an alchemy card. It's five provisions. It's pretty good, honestly. It's a pretty good card, and you can replay it with Bride of the Sea as well if you have one proc of rain, uh, one turn of rain on the opposite side. Um, uh, Freya's blessing also got buffed to five provisions this patch, and I think that's just a fantastic card. Uh, if you guys feel like Bear Witcher Mentors are bad, you can just replace a Bear Witcher Mentor with another Freya's Blessing. I found the Bear Witcher Mentor to be quite powerful, so I kept it in. We're running a single Marjoram for a 4P uh, option for Bride of the Sea, just in case. Two Cutting Slashes for Control, and two Cultist Priests as well. Swalba Priests. So, the way you want to play, th play these units is you want to play, hopefully, Defender first, so that the Defender eats the uh, Heat Wave that comes out, and then you drop Melusine. Next to Melusine, on the left, you play Hermit, and then to the left of Hermit, you play... Swablo Priest. And so what's happening is Priest is hitting the Hermit, the Hermit then hits the Mellow Sign, and the, uh, healing himself for two, and then the Mellow Sign hits the Hermit. So the Hermit is effectively taking two damage and then healing for two damage, so he doesn't really change power. Uh, but, the, so, but the Priest is getting boosted and your Mellow Sign is getting strengthened. And Mellow Sign's order is getting refreshed because Hermit is a Cultist. And on the right side you can play Bear Witcher Adept, and the armor just absorbs everything. It's, it's just a great it just feels great to see all this, these numbers flying around on the road. It's really good. Uh, is this the best deck? No. Is this a fun deck? Yes, for sure. Uh, okay, quickly about stratagems. Uh, Crystal Skull, I'm using it just to for Veil. It can be useful on you know, your priest, your Swabber Priest, prevent it from getting locked, poison, and so on and so forth. Uh, you could easily replace this with Advantage, uh, or you could also replace it with Magic Lamp. Magic Lamp allows you to play Priest as a proactive play. 
in case you don't have anything else because you can just flip this and then place this and you know get your engine ticking uh so yeah there's the deck guys um you're gonna see three games with this one game is a really fun meme deck it's the second game it's a really fun deck uh, i go up against our opponent is playing a meme deck but it's a meme deck that actually can win you a lot of games uh and i really enjoyed playing that even though it didn't go to plan definitely check that second game out but the first and third game you're gonna see how fun this deck can be it's again it's not a meta deck guys uh it's a fun deck so i hope you guys do enjoy it uh i'm not gonna be posting the deck list on blakewen.com so instead i'm just gonna be putting it in the intro and the outro as well so here it is here it is here it is there you go uh Weaknesses of this deck, tall removal. It has no tall removal. So you can consider slapping in heat wave somewhere, maybe replace wild board with heat wave if you so wish. Uh or more quark. More quark is also a fantastic option because more quark synergizes extremely well with Dogger. Um so yeah. Uh that's pretty much the deck guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you do, please do show your support below and I'll see you in the games. Alright, so Nilfgar. I shall not repeat. Uh, okay. Double cross. This could be honestly Bill. I faced a mill deck that was running double cross. Oh wow. That's every single portal tiger, really? Alright, cool. Alright, uh Enchanted Armor is interesting. And Chinaram is interesting, I haven't seen that though. But yeah, I have seen Double Cross play Mill. And I'm pretty sure this is Mill. I'm actually gonna... S Which is scary because I do thin kind of. Kind of. Okay. Slave Hunter. Okay, he's on Slave Hunter. He's worth 20 florins! He's worth 20 florins! Alright, so we'll play Portal out. Uh, I don't want to draw Melusine straight away. Obviously concerned about Heat Wave and Invocation. So just going to start with Priests, I guess. This makes it a bit awkward for them to use the ping, so that's always good. Okay, it's... You do the Emperor proud. Oh. Hmm. Uh, honestly, I think it's worth killing that. That's the one thing about Assimilate is that they need to set up their engines before they start steamrolling everybody. So, if we deny the most powerful engine, we should be looking decent, decent here. It does mean I miss Melusine at least in round 1. But I don't honestly expect her to live anyway, so... Maybe it's not Mill. Looks like it's just honest to God, you know, a simulate deck, which means I can expect Artod with what would they apply spying with Fur Cart? Okay, that's the Brothens. My loyalty is to Imperial coin, not to the face to pick. Okay, they use the Peng. That's interesting. I'm getting seven points here. Um. Just Oh, that was a mistake, I think, because it gives them this now. Eh, we'll see. So now what I can do is I can play Hermit between these two. My duty? To stick my nose where it doesn't belong. So I can play Hermit over here. Mark not the creeds of others. It's neither polite. I wanted the spy to die just to deny them a coup in case they wanted to play a coup. This is four card, yeah. So four card into diplomacy, I assume. Das Bog. So three plus four, five, six, seven. It's a lot of points. But now I can drop half through on the board and we get a lot of points as well. Coated weapons. Are you serious? Come on. Um, just do this. 
Tide rolls in, tide rolls out. It's not anything you could possibly have They're getting two points a turn, we're getting two... Uh, one here. So two plus two is four. Minus one, three. Yeah, we're getting three points a turn. Four points a turn, this heals. So I can just, actually, I can just drop half through and use the heal on something else and then just get the Brockus. What did we commit? Oniromancy, and they committed... Alright, they take the pass. Under the sea... Cool! Oh. We have round one. They lost Brathens. They applied spying on my Bear Witchers, so their Artot is looking at Bear Witchers. There's the other one, Bride of the Sea. And Bride of the Sea is actually isn't great here. We are we don't actually have access to our Melusine. Res is good. We have some fantastic res targets. We'll keep it. I think it's just Mulligan Gutting. Mulligan Gutting can kill in a similar tension. Oh. I think I don't want a long run against Assimilate. Assimilate long run seems like a bad idea. Whoa, what was that? I don't know if the mic picked that up, but that was a loud noise outside. Anyway, uh... This is a bit difficult, actually. I mean, offering is good in the long run, but assimilate is just steamrolls us in the long run, I think. I think I keep it short. Bow before modern Freya. I think we just do this. Gotcha. No, no, damn it! Let's see what happens now. This gives them an informant target. They only they haven't played a single informant up except from Brathen. So there's their portal okay. oh, You're gonna get it now. I'm gonna take this boss. I'm, I'm I'm actually gonna take this boss. <laughs> a second thought. I'm gonna change. I'm gonna take the boss here. So yeah, they have Artot for sure with this card. Honestly, I don't think that's a very good portal target because you want to give you want the deploy effect on this thing. I don't know what do you guys think. I think the deploy effect on this is really good because it just gives you art art value. Even if you don't get the pings off, the art art value is nice, right? The art art again is looking on bear which are adapts, so what happened to my other bear witcher? Oh yeah, I rest him. He's right here. I'm stupid. Okay, Master of Puppets, alright. Okay. okay. So it's an assimilate slash small spy package here, I guess. Just for Artard. So they have Artard left, they have stuff. Okay, that's really good. Good defender. We're missing. So we have Melusine with Onir. I would love to get Hand Kaduk, honestly. Hand Kaduk would be fantastic. I think I get rid of. This just removes the Master Puppets though. It allows me to play non-interactive for a round. I have these two on. You know what? I'm gonna keep this hand. Yeah, we'll keep this hand. This gets purified by their... By the... I keep forgetting the name of it. The 4-5 assimilate card. What is it called again? Diviner? Is that the name? Imperial Diviner? Mage Diviner. I can't remember. Uh, yeah, so yeah. We saw one. I expect one more of this, and I expect one more of this. Okay, Ramon into Enforcer. Slave Hunter. Okay. So I can do that. Cool. Two turns of uninteractivity is always nice. 
Let's see what happens. Uh, I expect Invo to still be there. Joachim is still a thing, so... Uh, it's so awkward playing. Okay, Arturis comes on the board. You will not regret this, that will do. What's Bride looking at right now? Bride is looking at Freya. I can actually play replay Delirium with... One charge of rain? I can actually replay Giga Scorp. And this requires one leader charge as well. Alright, let's see what happens. Invo slash Purify inbound now. Uh, or maybe Vincent. Perhaps a bit. Perhaps a bit. Uh, I th think I want to get rid of Oniromancy for their double cross. Wild Blue Sea isn't terrible against me. That's the art for their own defender. Okay. Okay. They don't lead her. Nice. So next turn we do we drop Dogger on the board. War Council on the board. Trunkaid. Oh come on. Wait, I can kill that. Bright is bad for them. This is bad for this is bad for them. This is bad. Dogger is the only one. And honestly, I don't actually mind them taking Dogger because I don't think that many damage stuff for have. So I'm just gonna Bride Rain. Uh, Rain into Bride into Gigascorp. I have to play Dogger now. Gorthor Gwaid for the. This thing is 8? Yeah. That's a bit unfortunate, isn't it? <laughs> oh, this card actually is bad. Oh no, I just realized. Oh, I think we're losing this. Why, Dogger? Why have you forsaken me? Alright, Rain. Okay. Sure. This is so bad, it just gives them points. Damn it. Invo? What's the last card? It has to be some sort of tall mobile. It's just informant. Everyone has Playing as a two. Alright, come on. Let's go. Let's freaking go. Not bad. Six point? Hell yeah. The power of the boar. <laughs> that was surprisingly close. GG opponent, GG. I like it. What was he named? Capillarian Crest.
I flew as well. Anyway, that was a really fun game. Anything, any way I could have played that better? Um, I, yeah, it was correct killing the Kahir. No, if the Kahir lived, I would have lost that match immediately because all my boosts would have been lost. Yeah, actually, I don't think I played that super wrong. Maybe I could have pushed around two more. But anyway, we won. All right, let's jump into one more game. All right, so pincer maneuver. Valeria and Rivia. Oh yeah, uh, for one, those wondering why it's Skelga music, it's because I've changed the settings to play my board music, so it's always going to be Skelga right now, since I'm playing Skelga. Alright, no Aneromancy, we have most of our portal targets, so that's not good. Um, this is a terrible hand. So, right, we want to mulligan this. Thankfully going second again, so... So yeah, the head breaks sometimes, not all the time, so... Blue and green. So we miss on Neuromancy, which means we don't have Portal or Mellow Sign. They drop that, which is. This is just Foltus, which means I have nothing against Foltus, I just realized. Ah, that's not good. That's not good. Gotcha. No, no, damn it! Uh, we'll just go down to seven and get out of the round. Oh, never mind. Power unfettered Wait. Wait a second. Is this Arch Griffin? Oh no. Oh no no! I have no way to beat Arch Griffin, do I? Because I can't get to the defender. I think they drop here the Aritus Adepts. Oh my god, this is Arch Griffin. Yes, this is... Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. Okay, I can actually win against this. I can actually win against this. The Erland, I need to see you save Delirium. I have the perfect card against that. Okay, so you they use Amphibious Assault to draw Arifus a, a Depth. There we go. Okay. We need sleep. Another test. So soon. Damn it, I really wish I had on Man. See, Delirium is going to be the thing that wins us this game. All it takes... Uh, for those wondering why I didn't use it on this, it just... Um, actually, why didn't I use it on this? It's damaging anyway, but it's fine. Okay, so for those who don't know, this is the Archer Fin deck. I think this was played by Plain Talk John. I think that's the guy, right? Great YouTuber, by the way, and streamer. He streams mainly with some YouTube videos. But yeah, I think I'm just going to keep this just so you guys can like enjoy this. It's actually a really cool deck. Uh, so just do this. So they have Veraxis in hand. They also have Tissaia, and they have Arch Griffin. So they drop Arch Griffin on the board now, I think. Yeah. So they're gonna draw into Arch Griffin. They're gonna play it now. Okay, no, Veraxis. Okay. Step back. Step left. Yeah. So th they're playing the Arch Griffin deck for sure. For sure. For sure. For sure. Uh, I have nowhere to stop this. Uh, if I pass, they don't care. They're just gonna use all their cards to boost the Arch Griffin as much as they can. Uh, and I don't think I'm winning. Am I winning round one? I don't have many units left to play, so I don't. I don't actually mind playing this. I bring you news from the caution tides. So we're gonna. They click Leticia, Patience 5, so these guys go to 3, and now they reset with Veraxis. They also have Mandric in hand. There's the Arch Griffin. They won't use these just yet because they have to say So they have to say uh, Mandric in hand, and I think they also have a uh, Casting Contest, if I'm not mistaken. Alright, so we get one more 2 point here. They click Leticia, there it is. There's the Mandrake on Leticia, there you go. So she doubles her patience as well, so now patience are 20, so it's actually insane. So now these guys go to what, 38 patience? Jesus, 38, 37, holy shit. That's it, it's the end of the turn, right? 
So now they're dropping this here next turn. Okay. There's this here. Death and blood are spectres between us. So the thing is, I can't win this round because they're at. Um. Yeah, I just take the pass here, right? I can't win this round, so my hope here is I draw Oniromancy or Delirium. And that's how I win the round. So the plan for this deck is to boost the Arch Griffin as much as possible. So you see here now, uh, the Griffin is going to get boosted. Swallow, okay. So yeah, 38 and 37. Holy shit, 75 points extra on this guy. 122 point Arch Griffin. Fair enough. And 125. Okay. So now, they want to join to Erland. So they have AA. AA doesn't give them Erland guaranteed. Erland comes on the board as immune and they click Erland and then he just takes all the boosts. Here. And then, he, oh, oh. Blessed be RNG. Oh, the Gwent Gods watch over. Okay, so. What's my portal again? Yeah, I need to mulligan you. And mulligan you. Play your Erland. There's the Erland. The thing is, I don't I still don't guarantee win this because suffering? Our suffering binds us. Because the AA still gives them their arch griffin, so I don't think I can win this. They're just gonna drop a 127 point arch griffin on me. No audiences. Now today. Okay, um. How much are you playing for? I don't think I need you. I just play Bride here, right? Bride is a 5. I can just do this, honestly. Yeah. Oh my god, it's 128 points. Plus two. <laughs> oh, well played. Well played to my opponent. It's a fun thing. Like, it loses to Heat Wave. If I had Heat Wave in this, I actually would have won. Though if if I didn't draw it, I would have obviously lost. Cool deck. I I'm actually going to keep that in. That's a super fun deck. Uh, Alright. I was going to make this a last deck, but you know what? I'll make I'll put in one more game there. Oh, here it is. You're a fan of my work. Oh, this is the... Probably the absolutely Metagurney, Koschi, Mamuna, Garanthir deck. I'll probably get to see how well this deck fares against it. Uh, assume the deck. I don't think the deck runs Heat Wave though, so Mulligan you, Mulligan you. Mulligan you. No Oniromancy again. Kinda sucks, which means no portal, but we do have Melisine though, so. We'll show you how blood spelling's done. Like, this is where Delirium is phenomenal. Again, unfortunately, didn't draw Delirium, so... Uh, so now we drop Hermit on this side, then we drop Swalbot Priest on that left. And we just go to town. I don't... I mean, the thing is, Monsters Bronzes are so good. I've invested... Melusine. Okay, Melusine. Alright. And I don't think we're able to keep up. Yeah, there's a self eater. Can only kill it next turn with Gutting Slash, so for now. Okay, hit one armor, not both of them, thankfully. So now, probably Bruis or Gankian. Their plays are pretty easy to know, it's just beating that is kind of difficult. I actually have an imposter deck, uh, not imposter, imprisonment deck that I want to play. Interesting. 
I could kill the larva, but I think I want to kill Selfita. I don't need to rush with the rain just yet. It's not like I lose any value. How big are you? 12? Okay. 12 points. So the thing is, a long run for us sounds like a good idea, but then again, this is Gurnikura Kostri, and they have a lot of armor if, with Kostri, right? So. But if Dagger sticks, which he should, because this deck doesn't really run control apart from uh, Wispus. Okay, which apprentice comes to the board? Oh, forgot to click rain. Oops. That was a mistake. So now we drop half through on the board. Oh, they dropped bloody mistress round one. Are you kidding me? Larvas, larvas. Get one. Okay. If I have, the, if I get the pass, I pass. Simple as that. They're getting three points a turn. Dargria on. Shoot. I don't think I'm gonna get a pass here. I think I'm gonna play this. Is there any way I'm going to get a pass here? I doubt it. They're just going to drop gun counts on me now. There's no way I get a pass here, right? Please, dragon. Do I get a pass somehow? Like, they drop Brewers here. It's enough. Gun count is... Okay, I'm... Oh, wait, what? No. Are you kidding me? Jesus Christ. Uh, just have to take the pa They have Kostya left, Garanther Kostya. They played Mamuna and Gurnikora, so they have Garanther Kostya left. I guess I have to take the pass so I can't keep up. And all the crones left. All three crones, Garanther Kostya. Uh, how do I kill Kostyas? I need to draw Gigascorp. Onera is nice. Sigdrif is nice. Dogger is really nice as well. Alright. If they pass, I just play Onero and thin out something. I guess I thin out you. But they're not gonna pass. They're monsters. They have extremely high amount of points. Okay. It's first Onermancy from them. Or Bruce. This base has 14 points. Uh, so now I just want to play as slow as possible. Do this. Uh, we can play Hern Kaduk into Bear Witcher Adept. Aquara. Okay. I guess I play a Neromancy here. Uh, yeah, I think we'll just play it on half through. I speak for the land to and the lady is content. And the lady is content. Honestly, this is going pretty big. 23 point Melu sign. 25. And I have access to my bride and Sigrifa in the deck. If and if they're running Skrill, then we're screwed. If they're not, you know what? 
I have to play this round one. It's a turn one. They're... I'm scared of Squirrel now. Oh, this is a good hand though. What am I missing? Portal? That's my own Aramancy. I it could be Delirium Elves, honestly. But we'll see, we'll see. So, I'm gonna turn one, get my medicine out. I don't want to risk bloody FEG, uh, I don't want to risk a squirrel coming on the board and just ruining my day. Oh, almost got the wrong card. Oof. Alright. So we can drop Dogger next turn. Set him up. Oniromancy honestly is going to be Delirium, I think. If, uh, because it it can help us kill Koshi, kind of, if you get lucky. Granther Koshi spawn is what, 4? Plus 2, plus 2, it's 6, it's 8, okay. This, is, this could be my daily rim, honestly. Wait, why did I... Oops. <laughs> they actually have a crone. <laughs> Wait, they don't have the crone in hand. Oh my. Alright. I think honestly it's... I'm gonna delirium the front row. And do this. Don't hit armor please, thank you. And then we can use Kikoscorp on the back row one. That armor nerf matters here, see? The armor nerf mattered over there. 20 points ahead. They've lost everything. Xavier now. Oh my god, they actually had tech. They were running Xavier. What? And look at the points there. I, mean, I think we still lose this, right? How are we winning this? I don't think we are. I played this in the wrong area. All that in the row. This should have been played here to heal. That was a mistake from my end. They still have both the crones left. Wispus and Beavis. Okay, one of them is not a crone. No, never mind. That was Xavier. So it could be the crone still. Yep. 10... Plus four. I think we lose though. How much is Wispus? 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 16 points. Ratcatchers, that's a lot. <gasps> we won, yes! Holy shit, we won. Holy shit, we won. Oh my god, they we got lucky there. They didn't draw into Whispers. That was a very bad play from my end. I should have just gone for Delirium though. But I had to play Risky, right? Otherwise, we wouldn't have won. I needed Dogger points. Wow. Oh my god, we saw. If they drew Whispers, we would have lost. Because they could have killed Dogger immediately. Well, guys, on that nail biter of a game, I think I'm gonna end this video. So honestly, um,. Not the best deck out there, not a competitive deck, but it's 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 certainly fun and does have a lot of nice synergies as well. So definitely give it a try, guys. Uh, I'm not gonna post this on playgwen.com since I don't think it's that amazing. Uh, but do so if you guys do want the deck list here again, it'll be in the intro, but it'll be here as well in case you missed it. Just gonna quickly go through this. Um, weaknesses of this deck: it has no tall removal. And that is a bad thing in this meta because tall removal in this meta is very powerful. Honestly, uh, 
I think a control SK deck is going to be much better. Reckless Flurry, remove Melisine, run something like Heatwave, and remove Boar for... I mean, you could keep Boar though. Boar is pretty decent against uh, uh, wide control. And decks do go wide, right? You saw monsters, how wide they go. So yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy the three games. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care.